Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I'm so excited because I am bringing to you a mukbang. Today's mukbang is very special and very different because today I am going to be eating from a place that I've never tried before that is a local black-owned business called Dynasty Wings. I got an order of their buffalo bone-in wings and then a half order of their garlic parmesan fries. I thought it would be fun to just sit down and chat with you. I don't think I've done a Q&A this year or anything like that or like an advice video. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna sit down and answer questions from so long ago. I asked you guys to ask me questions probably like a month or two ago and I didn't answer them. <laughs> And I'm so sorry, but it just it wasn't the right time and I feel like now's a better time to sit down and kind of have a more like lighthearted talk, but while still having meaning to it. You guys are able to, if you live in the valley, definitely check out Dynasty Wings. I will leave their Instagram right here and in the description box down below. I know so many of you watching are not from California and not even from the United States. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't support your local black owned businesses. Now is the perfect time to show your love and support. But yeah, with that being said, let's get started. What do you think about people going to a community college? Um, I think that you're fucking smart. I hate how people in general and also like universities as a whole and professors, they look down on community colleges a lot. And I don't understand why. Like. You guys are literally so smart if you go to community college because you don't have to fucking take out loans and you don't have to be in debt. You know what I'm saying? It's so much more affordable than university is and some people still have huge debt to this day. And I am so lucky that I basically got my college paid for through FAFSA and through scholarships. So I'm super lucky, but I know that not everyone was blessed with that opportunity. Um, so what do I think about people that are going to community college? I think you're amazing. I think do you, boo. I think I got that degree. I would never, I would never shame someone for going to community college. Question number two, should we forgive people even though they hurt us? The tea. It really depends on the severity of the situation. In most cases, if someone hurts you, I would say no. Don't forgive them because if they hurt you, they can hurt you again. And why would you want to put yourself in a position where you can continuously get hurt by the same person? Again, I don't know the severity of the situation, but like, for example, if you have a friend that is being super toxic, I would say, no, don't forgive them, walk away. And in the end, only you are really able to make the decision whether you should walk away or forgive. But um, just keep your mind open that, you know, sometimes if people backstab you, they're gonna do it again. You know, I don't know your situation, but Take these things into consideration. What do you think about lying and cheating? Something tells me that the same person wrote these because they're all in caps. If someone lied to you and cheated on you and that hurt you, do not forgive them. But on the off chance this is a different person, what do I think about lying and cheating? I think it's wrong. I think it's stupid. I think if you don't want to be in that relationship and you wanna be with someone else, go be with someone else because in the end, you're just gonna end up hurting the other person by lying and cheating. That person is not worth your time because they don't value you as much as you value them. I don't approve. Do you believe in zodiac signs and what are your placements? Oh my God, I've been waiting for someone to ask me this. I actually did look up my placements. I wrote them down in my notes because I didn't wanna forget. <laughs> and if anyone asked me this question, I wanted to like be prepared. I am a Capricorn. My moon is in Pisces. My sun is in Capricorn. My rising is in Leo and my Mercury sign is in Sagittarius. So I wrote down in parentheses cause I'm not an expert by any means. <laughs> so basically your moon sign reflects the way that you feel. Your sun sign is your persona. Your rising sign is the way that you act and your mercury sign is the way that you think. I don't really know what all that means. <laughs> I think it's really fascinating and I would love to learn more, but yeah, I don't know. Does that make me a good person? Like, uh, wh what does this mean? So I really want a man's, but everyone I talk to just isn't that into me. 
I think I'm an interesting and caring person with lots to offer. Sis, what do you suggest for my little homo heart? I mean, you said it yourself. You're an interesting and caring person with a lot to offer. And if none of these little boys can see that, then they are not for you, queen. They are not for you. And you will find someone that will appreciate you and value you and love you for who you are. Trust and believe when you do not want it, when you have given up and you have accepted, you know what? I'm not looking for no one right now. I'm not looking for a boyfriend right now. A boyfriend's gonna come your way. It's just the way it works. It's like, I don't want a boyfriend. Boom, there he is on your lap. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just the way the world works. But I promise you, if you are as caring and loving and interesting as you say you are, I'm sure that someone will come along and will appreciate you for everything that you are. Are you going back to Texas? If so, please try and visit Austin. Am I going back to Texas? Not anytime soon, I don't think. The reason why I went to Texas in the first place was because of Daisy. So basically that whole trip, I was like following along whatever, you know, she had planned with her family, which I was totally cool with because I basically grew up with her family. I was just grateful in the first place to be able to buy a plane ticket because that was my first time ever being on a plane and traveling somewhere. So on that trip, we didn't really plan that much, but we did pass by Austin and there just wasn't enough time to stop. So next time, if I do ever go back to Texas, that will be on my list. Mmm, tea. <laughs> your future plan with your mans. <laughs> That's funny. Well, 2020 has been extremely unpredictable and crazy and a roller coaster and emotionally draining. One thing that has been very certain during this time is my relationship. I have found so much comfort and so much joy in being around Andrea. I always have. Aww. I don't know. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to say too little, but I don't know. You might see a rock on my finger in like a year. And pushing out his baby's telly bite a rock. Personal goals for 2020. <laughs> mm, that's funny. One thing I will tell you that I'm very excited about and very on track for, I guess. I don't even know how to say that, but I'm going to graduate soon. I'm gonna graduate in fall with a bachelor's degree. And the only thing is, um, I'm not ready <laughs> at all to go into the real world. I've been in school for like 18 years, for like 18 years of my life. And then all of a sudden I'm just not gonna go to school anymore. Like, like what? And I feel like it's gonna be a weird adjustment for me adjusting into the new world and figuring out who I'm gonna be and like, you know, like <sighs> scary times, man, but I'm almost done. I almost got my degree and I'm so excited and I'm really proud of myself and I don't say that a lot and I don't hear that a lot, which is probably why I don't say that a lot, but I'm so freaking proud of myself. I did it. And if you graduated, you did it. And if you're about to graduate, you're going to do it. And I'm so proud of me and all of you. That's like one of the positive things that is gonna come out of 2020 is that I'm gonna graduate. Other than that, I don't know, pretty bad year. Well, I finished my garlic Parmesan fries. <laughs> they were really good. I have two more rings left, but I'm stuffed. And my mouth is like kind of burning. That the buffalo sauce is like really spicy, but like really good. So that is all I have for you guys today. I didn't really plan this video. I just knew that I wanted to get those wings and those fries. <laughs> so I kind of just like placed my order. Then I came back here and I sat down and I'm like, I'm going to film. <laughs> so I'm sorry if, if my thoughts were all over the place and this video made no sense, but I just hope that you got something out of it. Wash your hands, social distance if you can. Keep signing petitions, okay? Keep going to protest, keep being safe. I love you and I will see you on the next one.